Hello and welcome to two digit by one digit multiplication. This is for Mr. Chamorro's fourth grade math classroom. Before we get started with learning how to multiply two digit by one digit numbers, we want to review some vocabulary, key words that will help us understand uh, the standard algorithm of multiplication a little bit better. Now we have no, we, we see this problem right here, three times five. And the number three and the number five, the ones that are in green, are called factors. That's right, they are called factors. They are the numbers that we are going to be multiplying. Those, when you multiply them, they give you a product, this answer right here. The answer to this multiplication, which is in red, as you can see, the 15, is known as the product. So one more time, the product is the answer to a multiplication problem. The 3 and the 5 are the numbers that we are multiplying, and those are known as factors. Very good. Let's continue on. <clears throat> we see a two-digit by one-digit problem here. The two-digit problem, uh, the two-digit number is at the very top, the 25, as you can see the arrow. The one-digit number is at the bottom. Notice how we set up the problem. Our ones place are lined up nicely in the ones column, and our tens place are lined up nicely in the tens place. Okay. Now, th we're, this problem is set up perfectly for the standard algorithm of multiplication. So let's begin, ladies and gentlemen. Step number one, what do we do first? Here we go. In step one, we have the same problem, 25 times 3. You're going to do the numbers that are in red, these factors right here, 5 and 3. The downstairs needs to visit the ones place in order. They visit everybody in order upstairs. So we're going to start with the ones place. So 3 times the 5, 3, three is a factor, the 5 is a factor. 3 times 5 gives you a product of, that's right, good job, it gives you a product of 15. Now notice what happened to the 1 up top. See that 1 right here? That 1, ladies and gentlemen, needed to get regrouped because it's in the tenths place. So we're putting it above the tenths column, above the tenths place. Now we're going to get back to it because we're not done with it. So notice everything in red, ladies and gentlemen, is in fact step one. Now moving on to step number two. In step number two, in green, the downstairs number, which is the three, needs to visit the tens place, which is also in green. And in this case, he's a two. So three times two, this three times this two, gives you a product of six. Now, before we get started, this 6 needs to do something here, ladies and gentlemen. And remember that 1 that we regrouped in the last, in step number 1? Well, we have to do something with that 1. Here we go. Are you ready? 6, you have to add the 1. You have to do 6 plus 1. The sum of 6 plus 1 is 7. Now that number goes in the answer box down here. And as you can see, we have the whole product now. We have the downstairs number has visited everybody upstairs. So we have our final product, and our final product, the final answer, is 75. Very good, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is just a quick review of what we have learned in class. If you need to review this one more time, please go back, review this lesson, and make sure to slow it down, pause it. You can always pause these videos, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Um, again, if you have any questions, write them down on your notepad and bring them to, to class tomorrow and we'll talk about it in person and we can share our answers and our thoughts and some feedback with our students, with our, with our peers and learn off of each other. Again, ladies and gentlemen, make sure, a nice little tip, make sure that that downstairs number, in this case it was the three, he needs to visit everybody upstairs in order. So one's place and then the tenth place. Ladies and gentlemen, good job today. Thank you very much.